What's good, y'all? This is the Walker Bar for Black Authentic Truth. Now, this video has been going viral. Obviously, I know a lot of people have seen it. Um, in this video, there's a young brother that's being followed by a group of white men in a neighborhood. They're asking him, uh, do he live there? And you can hear in the beginning that they're like, hey, buddy, where you going, buddy? And he doesn't even live here. You hear him, you know, saying little things here and there, and he's walking got the camera on himself uh, right away. When I seen the video, I knew that he had the camera on himself for protection. Like everybody should do when you find yourself in a situation like that. But I'm going to play the video and then I'm going to give a little bit of commentary on it. What's going on, buddy? Nigga, brother. She ain't my hell. Obviously, he doesn't live here. I'm not in front of your house. You're you were actually following. You're actually, you're actually, you're actually, you're actually following me. We just asked him a question. You live out here? I'm part of the neighborhood. You're part of the neighborhood. Does that mean you live here? It's simple. <laughs> like, bro, what? <laughs> Up to my wife. But I didn't go up to your wife, bro. I don't know who you're talking about. Bro. Skip it up a little bit. Damn. What the fuck? The buddy, look out, buddy. He's still creeping. See, 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 see. No, no, see. See, 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 see. So, you've seen the video. So, it starts off with them asking him, does he live here? One of the guys says, you harassed my wife. Then right here at the end of the video, you see a guy pull up, hop out the car like he's going to grab something. Another guy trying to stop him. So, I was able to find a, a post of his mother, and she explains the situation. So, let me pull that up. So this is what his mother had to say. She said, so let me make myself very clear here on a few things. Number one, this is my child. He is a teenager. He's 18. He is still my child. Number two, he lives in this neighborhood. He effing belongs, exclamation point. Number three. These people are trying to spin the narrative by saying he approached some woman and tried to enter her garage. None of this is true. He spoke to a woman in passing. He was on the sidewalk. When he returned from walking around the block, her husband and way more people was standing outside waiting on him to return. That is when my son decided to pull out his phone. That was a smart thing to do because he felt unsafe at how many people were outside questioning him on who he is and why he was there. Number four, people are telling me to call the police. At the end of this video, you will see that one of their friends, not sure if he was off duty, but officer did pull up in his cruiser. Once he realized that he was being recorded, he admitted seeing my son walk around the neighborhood and not op opposing or opposing a threat. I just want to sit this here for people that continue to want to listen to BS. Once upon a time, there was a black man whose name was Emmett Till. The woman that did this same crap in 1955 recently shared on her deathbed that she lied about this man hitting on her. Now, Emmett Till is no longer here. What you see is a blueprint of exactly what happens to these black men that are no longer here. They are being preyed on by mobs of people. They call their police friends to come and corner them. Once they have them in a helpless position, these men are unalive and can't tell their side of the story. So once again, here I am 
making awareness that racism still exists this very day. And there should be repercussions to this types of behavior so that it will stop. We deserve to have a nice life too. We deserve to be here and live just as comfortable as anyone else that is not black. We deserve our lives. That was well said and shout out to the mother for clarifying everything. I actually have reached out to the mother. Uh, I haven't got a response, but I did reach out to the mother. Well, shout out to her and shout out to her son. He he did the right thing, did the right thing. And I like how she came and gave some context to what we were seeing. And she made some valid points. And I rock with those points. Now, if this is true, then that is exactly what has happened in history with black males. Emmett Till, that Emmett Till situation is a, is a great example. There's other situations just like that where young youth, black youth, male youth have been, have been unalived because something that would allegedly happen between them and a white woman. Y'all know the stories. Y'all already know. I can bring them up. I can do some black authentic truth videos. But the but the thing is, is that he actually lives in the neighborhood. Now, y'all remember Ahmad Aubrey, two vigilantes took law and order into their own hands. And you see how angry that guy was at the end of the video where he came and spent the block, hopped out like he was going to the other side to grab something and somebody stopped him. You see how angry they was? when. The brother lives in the neighborhood. He lives in the neighborhood. And that, that's just crazy to me how that thing could have turned out had he not had his camera, his, his phone on. And, you know, if something would have happened, people would have said they didn't know what happened. Ring cameras wouldn't have been, would have been off that day. Nobody would have known what happened. You understand? Or it would have been a narrative that would have been spun and you can talk you in in everybody would have been asking questions like what actually happened what actually what really happened cuz it just doesn't add up just doesn't add up just like the situation with JVM McGee just don't add up no camera footage nothing to help go off of there was really no reason to harass the brother and mess with them. I've never seen that happen with other races that come into black communities where black people just follow them around. Like, what, what are you doing here? Why are you here? Uh, or do you live in a neighborhood? Black people be suspicious of certain people, but they don't follow people around. And you just, you just don't see that happen to any group except for black folks.